we use the word Christianity today then is comparatively modern. <clears throat> and the, the growing practice of treating Christianity as the name of an objective entity then gave rise to the problem of what exactly is it? How is it to be defined? Does it consist, for example, of belonging to the institution of the church? Does it belong to, does it consist of holding a certain set of beliefs? And if so, what are those beliefs? Now, those, these questions began to be proved to uh, very difficult to answer. And Christians were becoming, by the 19th century, hopelessly divided over just what it, this thing is we call Christianity. And so they began to look for what is the essential essence? What is the sine qua non? Without which you can't have Christianity. Even to this day, Catholics insist that Christianity consists in giving obedience to the Pope and living in a, sacra in a sacramental communion with Mother Church. While Protestants, particularly evangelicals, believe Christianity consists of accepting Christ as one's personal saviour. Now the confusion led to the widespread perception that Christian faith consists of holding a certain number of beliefs and carrying out a certain number of practices. It was this modern era, by the way, of hold, of, that faith consists of holding certain beliefs that led Lewis Carroll in the 19th century to Pope Fanatic in 1865 when he wrote Alice in Wonderland. Because there he portrayed Alice as saying, I can't possibly believe that. Oh, said the Queen, perhaps you haven't had enough practice. Why, I believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. Because that's how Christianity was beginning to be conceived, as believing in possible things, giving rise to the schoolboy's definition that faith is believing things you know ain't true. <laughs> now this search for the essence, the sine qua non of Christianity, <clears throat> gave rise to a great debate which came to a climax in 1900 with a book written by the great church historian Adolf von Harnack called What is Christianity? What is Christianity? What have I done with that? And <clears throat> he boiled it down to uh, something extremely simple and it's like uh, the Christian religion, he said, is, is really loving God, loving one's neighbor, and, and, and building the kingdom of God. Well, one of his chief critics was the Roman Catholic modernist, Alfred de Wazzi, who responded to his book by another book, The Church and the Gospel, in which de Wazzi set out to show that Adolf Harnack had said too much and too little. He had said too little because at any one point in time in history, Christianity had been a great deal more than that. On the other hand, he had said too much because there was no permanent, absolute sine qua non of Christianity. Sometimes uh, I am accused of reducing Christianity and throwing out the baby with the bathwater. What Alfred Lawazi was really saying, there is no baby. It's all bathwater. 